Hello friends, let's say length of a rectangular room is 1 meter longer than its width. If the area of the room is 56 square meter, what is the length and width of that room? Let's say the width is y meters, then length will be y plus 1 meter because length is 1 meter longer than the width. And we know the area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. So this comes out to be y plus 1 which is length into y which is breadth equal to 56 which is given 56 square meter. So opening the brackets we will get y square plus y is equal to 56. Taking 56 to the left hand side y square plus y minus 56 equal to 0. So if we find the 0 of this polynomial y square plus y minus 56 we would get root of the equation that is we will be able to solve this equation and we will be able to get the value of y. This also means the 0 of the polynomial y square plus y minus 6 is the solution of this problem because we learned in our earlier videos the root of the equation is same as the 0 of the polynomial. So we can easily find the 0 if we factorize the polynomial. From the earlier videos we know an easy way to factorize such quadratic polynomial of type ax square plus bx plus c. Here a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 56. So we split the middle terms coefficient into two numbers such that their product would be a into c means the product of coefficient of the extreme terms. In this case a into c will be equal to 1 into minus 56 that is equal to minus 56 and we can split the middle term y as 8y minus 7y because 8 into minus 7 is equal to minus 56 which is same as the product of extremes. So we got y square plus 8y minus 7y minus 56. So for the first two terms we get y into y plus 8 and for the second two terms we can take mm, minus 7 as the common so we get minus 7 into y plus 8. So now both we can take y plus 8 as the common and we will reach to y plus 8 into y minus 7. So for this polynomial to be 0 either y plus 8 has to be 0 or y minus 7 has to be 0. If either of them is 0 the product would be 0. So if y plus 8 equal to 0 y will be minus 8 and if y minus 7 is equal to 0 y will be equal to 7. So y is equal to minus 8 and y is equal to 7 both the values would make the value of the polynomial as 0. But length cannot be negative so it cannot be minus 8 cannot be the value. So width of the room should be y equal to 7 meters. And as the length is 1 meter more than width, the length would be 7 plus 1 that is 8 meter. And to verify everything is correct or not, let us find the area again from the values we got. Length into breadth that is equal to 8 into 7 which is equal to 56 square meters. And it is the same as what was given in the problem. So we solve this problem by finding the zeros of the polynomial. And in the next video, we'll learn more about it. Till then, bye-bye.